Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy Thursday and hey, thank you guys for joining us on the main channel for our Real Housewives of Orange County recap. We also just did an amazing interview that I'm dropping tomorrow with MTV's Macy Bookout. So much fun. You won't want to miss it. I promise you. Now, in the meantime, we're back to talk about the Real Housewives of Orange County and Tamara being slammed for mean girl bully behavior, but also Emily identifying the red flags in Shannon's relationship to John Jansen. There's a lot. So before we jump in, do all the YouTube things, hit the like button, and let's do the damn thing. Boom. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys. So we're starting here because, um, gosh, this just doesn't get good. Jennifer Pedranti is firing back at Tamara Judge after her, well, castmate and... One time friend shaded her on an episode of Jeff Lewis's Live. In a post shared to her Instagram story, Jennifer slammed Tamara for her childish and bully behavior as she called her a mean girl and denied being a victim, which Tamara said she was. And she was kind of just teasing the upcoming reunion. I think me and Jen, the new girl, are going to have some words. That's what she teased. Mm. Then Jeff did say, you know, I like Jen and I agree with Jeff. Jeff said, I like Jen, and Tamara sarcastically agreed, saying, <laughs> she's sweet. She's doing a very good job playing the sweet card. Her yoga training comes in very well. She comes off very sweet. Hashtag victim. I think she's great for the show, but I've known her for quite a few years, so I know. We just need to straighten some things out. But continuing on, Tamara said that she feels Jennifer hasn't been forthright or honest about her life on the show and is protecting certain aspects from the cameras. Um, me and my Quasimodo eye over here that's reacting. I really like Jennifer. I think that she is so sweet. I think, yeah, is she probably in a relationship that most likely won't last? Yes. But do you wish that for anybody? No, there are children involved. You want her relationship to last because you're not a monster. I mean, can you identify when there's somebody who's like, oh, this is probably not the best, Jen? Yes, but if that was my friend... I wouldn't do everything that I could to try to bury them. I would just be like, it's your relationship. It's not mine. I'm really happy in my relationship. So if that's what you want, then go on and do it. Like if you want to be in this toxic relationship where nobody thinks it's going to work out, that's on you. It's really none of my business until you sign a reality TV contract. Let's face it. He's not the most stand-up guy. That's what Tamara noted. Uh, talking about Ryan, who obviously was accused of hitting on her and sending D-pics to other women. Now, also on the show, Teddy Mellencamp suggested that Ryan actually looked better than Shannon Bedore's now ex-boyfriend, John Jansen, saying John had an odd look in his eyes. But Tamara agreed saying, well, that was easy. A short time later, after getting you know word of Tamara's diss, Jennifer responded on her Instagram story saying, I don't have to pretend to be a kind, sweet person. I have zero interest in mean girl and bully BS, especially at this age. I wouldn't allow my 12-year-old daughter to behave this way, so no hashtag victim here. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now, as fans may have seen, this isn't the first time that Tamara labeled Jennifer as a victim. Last week, following the latest episode of the show, Tamara took to the comment section of an Instagram post that detailed the episode, which saw Jennifer accusing Tamara of bringing up Gina's DUI amid a conversation about Shannon's CPS diss. Stop playing victim, Tamara wrote. Your friend leaned over to tell you she got a DUI while Shannon said CPS and didn't even hear it. CPS was never called and I knew nothing about it. I like both of them. But I think if you're going to go up again, it's like Bethany Frankel. Like if you're going to take a shot at this B, you better not miss. And I feel like Tamara is the same way. Tamara is hardcore. She's brash and she's not somebody who you want on your bad side. It's not just, it's not what you want to lean into. It's actually kind of terrifying for the cast members. And for Jen, she might be scared too, but it doesn't seem like she's really backing down. Now, let's get into this part. So, I love Reality Blurb. They really hit it all. Emily Simpson is addressing Shannon Bedore and John Jansen's relationship troubles, and that was on last night's episode of Watch What Happens Live. Yeah. She, well... Wondered if Shannon and John are going to get back together. At least that was the question. And she said, I don't know. 
maybe they're just hanging out. I don't know if they're together or not. I just, I really honestly wish the best for Shannon. And I don't know if John Jansen is the best. I think she deserves more. Tamara has accused Emily and Heather of bullying Shannon about John, despite her own comments about the relationship. But Emily shot down the idea on Watch What Happens Live. I don't think that was a fair statement because we all talk about her relationship and she's told all of us things. So I wouldn't say being open about her relationship is bullying. It's just talking about things that she's told us. And if I don't know if you guys remember this, but one of the biggest discrepancies on here is that the cast feels like Shannon is constantly sharing her relationship with them when she has a couple, you know, that's, this is coming from them, not me, but that she shares some things and then she's like, oh, did I say that? I don't remember saying that. And they're like, yes, you said that. And she's like, this is my life. And you're like, I, I, what are we doing here? I'm very confused. I don't know where we stand in this moment, right? But wait, it keeps going. As she showed off her recent weight loss, which was prompted by the use of Ozempic last year, Emily confirmed that she worked really hard before admitting that she's received backlash. I get a lot of positive comments, but a lot of comments I hear that bother me are, you don't look like yourself anymore. And that's because publicly for the past five years that I've been on the show, I've been 40 pounds heavier than I used to be. But you have to understand for me, I feel like my old self again. And that's what makes me happy. That's what makes me continue to work out because this is the way that I felt when I was in my 30s. Andy Cohen then pointed out that Emily carried herself well throughout her weight gain and didn't seem bothered by it. And she agreed. She said, I knew that I gained weight, but I still felt hot. It was hard, though, at times. Things don't fit. You don't feel comfortable. But I still rocked bathing suits. But then when I mean, this one, too, Andy asked Emily about who she believes spoke poorly about her at BravoCon. She confessed to getting her things mixed up. So she did own it. I realized that I messed that up. I think that I heard that someone said something bad about me at BravoCon and I put Shannon in there. I used deductive reasoning and then I felt like Shannon went into the blank. Okay. And housewives, you don't get to use deductive reasoning, but I still love you, Emily. But deductive reasoning, we don't get to use. No. You gotta have your, you have to have your ducks in a row. You guys get what I'm saying? Not deductive reasoning. All right. Throughout the season, Shannon has grown increasingly upset with her castmates who discussed her and John Jansen's relationship, which ended after the season on camera. And because of that, Emily has become convinced that something isn't right between them. Her reaction is very telling because if someone said something about my relationship with Shane, I'd be like, oh, well, that's dumb. But when you re react that largely, then I feel like there's something pretty accurate there. But although Emily has discussed Shannon and John, she said Heather is guiltier than she is because I didn't tell production. But as for the biggest red flag, Emily admitted that there are so many. They break up all the time, but I think they're together now. I don't know. And I don't think that she wanted to share if they were together or not. But John Jansen has been accused of many things. He's been accused of body shaming Shannon. He's been accused of using her financially. He's been accused of letting her pay all of the bills. He's been accused of multiple things. Does that make any of them true? No. She knows if they're true. We don't. Do I think that... If the entire cast is saying, mm, this kind of seems like maybe not the best person for you. Well, then, yeah, I would lean more into that because I think that sometimes if you're in a toxic relationship, you're a little bit jaded and you have people around you who can point out things that you might miss in that moment. But enough about me. Guys, go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. I'm going to take my Quasimodo eye, go take some Benadryl, and I think I am hashtag exiting for the rest of the day. I will post polls. I'll be around. I love you guys. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys.